Kindergarten, U.S. Listen, from German, Kindartien, Listen, is a preschool educational approach based on playing, singing, practical activities such as drawing, and social interaction as part of the transition from home to school. Such institutions were originally created in the late 18th century in Bavaria and Strasbourg to serve children whose parents both worked outside home. The term was coined by the German Friedrich Froebel, whose approach globally influenced early years education. Today, the term is used in many countries to describe a variety of educational institutions and learning spaces for children ranging from 1 to 7 years of age, based on a variety of teaching methods. History In 1779, Johann Friedrich Oberlin and Louise Scheppeler founded in Strasbourg an early establishment for caring for and educating preschool children whose parents were absent during the day. At about the same time, in 1780, similar infant establishments were created in Bavaria. In 1802, Princess Pauline Zur Lipp established a preschool center in Detmold, the capital of the then Principality of Lipp, Germany, now in the state of North Rhine-Westphalia. In 1816, Robert Owen, a philosopher and pedagogue, opened the first British and probably globally the first infant school in New Lanark, Scotland. In conjunction with his venture for cooperative mills, Owen wanted the children to be given a good moral education so that they would be fit for work. His system was successful in producing obedient children with basic literacy and numeracy. Samuel Wilderspin opened his first infant school in London in 1819, and went on to establish hundreds more. He published many works on the subject, and his work became the model for infant schools throughout England and further afield. Play was an important part of Wilderspin's system of education. He is credited with inventing the playground. In 1823, Wilderspin published on the importance of educating the infant poor, based on the school. He began working for the Infant School Society the next year, informing others about his views. He also wrote The Infant System, for developing the physical, intellectual, and moral powers of all children from one to seven years of age. <laughs> Spread Countess Theresa Brunswick (1775–1861), who had known and been influenced by Johann Heinrich Pestalozzi, was influenced by this example to open an Angelkat (Angel Garden) in Hungarian on May 27, 1828, in her residence in Buda, the first of eleven care centers that she founded for young children. In 1836, she established an institute for the foundation of preschool centers. The idea became popular among the nobility and the middle class and was copied throughout the Kingdom of Hungary. Friedrich Froebel (1782–1852) opened a play and activity institute in 1837 in the village of Bad Blankenburg in the Principality of schwarzburg rudolstadt Thuringia, as an experimental social experience for children entering school. He renamed his institute Kindergarten, meaning Garden of Children, on June 28, 1840, reflecting his belief that children should be nurtured and nourished like plants in a garden. Women trained by Froebel opened kindergartens throughout Europe and around the world. The first kindergarten in the U.S. was founded in Watertown, Wisconsin in 1856 and was conducted in German by Margarita Meyer Schurz. Elizabeth Peabody founded the first English-language kindergarten in the U.S. in 1860. The first free kindergarten in the U.S. was founded in 1870 by Konrad Poppenhusen, a German industrialist and philanthropist, who also established the Poppenhusen Institute. The first publicly financed kindergarten in the U.S. was established in St. Louis in 1873 by Susan Blow. Canada's first private kindergarten was opened by the Wesleyan Methodist Church in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, in 1870. By the end of the decade, they were common in large Canadian towns and cities. In 1882, the country's first public school kindergartens were established in Berlin, Ontario, modern Kitchener, at the Central School. In 1885, the Toronto Normal School teacher training opened a department for kindergarten teaching. Elizabeth Harrison wrote extensively on the theory of early childhood education and worked to enhance educational standards for kindergarten teachers by establishing what became the National College of Education in 1886. Topic: <laughs> By country. Afghanistan In Afghanistan, children between the ages of three and six attend kindergartens Dari, Pashto. Although kindergartens in Afghanistan are not part of the school system, they are often run by the government. Early childhood development programs were first introduced during the Soviet occupation with the establishment in 1980 of 27 urban preschools or Kodakistan. 
The number of preschools grew steadily during the 1980s, peaking in 1990 with more than 270 in Afghanistan. At this peak, there were 2,300 teachers caring for more than 21,000 children in the country. These facilities were an urban phenomenon, mostly in Kabul, and were attached to schools, government offices, or factories. Based on the Soviet model, these early childhood development programs provided nursery care, preschool, and kindergarten for children from three months to six years of age under the direction of the Department of Labor and Social Welfare. The vast majority of Afghan families were never exposed to this system, and many of these families were in opposition to these programs due to the belief that it diminishes the central role of the family and inculcates children with Soviet values. With the onset of civil war after the Soviet withdrawal, the number of kindergartens dropped rapidly. By 1995, only 88 functioning facilities serving 2,110 children survived, and the Taliban restrictions on female employment eliminated all of the remaining centers in areas under their control. In 2007, there were about 260 kindergarten, pre-school centers serving over 25,000 children. Though every government center is required to have an early childhood center, at present, no governmental policies deal with early childhood and no institutions have either the responsibility or the capacity to provide such services. Australia In each state of Australia, kindergarten, frequently referred to as kinda or kindy, means something slightly different. In Tasmania, New South Wales and the Australian Capital Territory, it is the first year of primary school. In Victoria, kindergarten is a form of preschool and may be referred to interchangeably as preschool or kindergarten. In Victoria and Tasmania, the phrase for the first year of primary school is called prep, short for preparatory, which is followed by grade one. In Queensland, kindergarten is usually an institution for children around the age of four and thus it is the precursor to preschool and primary education. The year preceding the first year of primary school education in Western Australia, South Australia or the Northern Territory is referred to respectively as pre-primary, reception or transition. In Western Australia, the year preceding pre-primary is called kindergarten. Topic: <laughs> Bangladesh In Bangladesh, the term, kindergarten, or KG school, kindergarten school, is used to refer to the schooling children attend from three to six years of age. The names of the levels are nursery, shishu, children, etc. But the view of kindergarten education has changed much from previous years. Almost every rural area now has at least one kindergarten school, with most being run in the Bengali language. They also follow the textbooks published by the National Curriculum and Textbook Board NCTB, with a light modification, adding some extra books in the syllabus. The grades generally start from nursery sometimes play KG afterwards, and ends with the fifth grade. Separate from the national education system, kindergarten is contributing greatly toward achieving the Millennium Development Goal of Universal Primary Education in Bangladesh. Bulgaria In Bulgaria, the term Detska Gradina, Detowska Gradina refers to the schooling children attend from 3 to 7 in some cases 6 years of age. Since 2012, two years of preschool education are compulsory. These two years of mandatory preschool education may be attended either at kindergarten or in preparatory groups at primary schools. Topic: Canada Schools outside of Ontario and the Northwest Territories generally provide one year of kindergarten, except some private schools offer junior kindergarten for four-year-olds. School before kindergarten is most commonly referred to as preschool. Kindergarten is mandatory in British Columbia, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island, and is optional elsewhere. The province of Nova Scotia refers to kindergarten as grade primary. After kindergarten, the child begins grade one. The province of Ontario and the Northwest Territories provide two years of kindergarten. Within the province of Quebec, junior kindergarten is called prematernelle, which is not mandatory, is attended by four-year-olds, and senior kindergarten is called maternelle, which is also not mandatory by the age of five. This class is integrated into primary schools. Within the French school system in the province of Ontario, junior kindergarten is called maternelle and senior kindergarten is called jardin d'enfant, which is a calque of the German word kindergarten. Topic: Chile. In Chile, the term equivalent to kindergarten is 
Education Parvularia, sometimes also called Education Preschola. It is the first level of the Chilean educational system. It meets the needs of boys and girls integrally from their birth until their entry to the education basica primary education, without being considered as compulsory. Generally, schools imparting this level, the JUNJI National Council of Kindergarten Schools and other private institutions have the following organization of groups or subcategories of levels. Low nursery, it addresses babies from 85 days to 1 year old. High nursery, it addresses children from 1 to 2 years old. Low middle level, it addresses children from 2 to 3 years old. High middle level, it addresses children from 3 to 4 years old. First level of transition, often called prekinder, it addresses children from four to five years old. Second level of transition, usually called kinder, it addresses children from five to six years old. It is the last phase of this type of education. By finishing it, children go to primero básico, first grade of primary education. Topic: China. In China, preschool education, before the child enters formal schooling at six years of age, is generally divided into a nursery or preschool stage and a kindergarten stage. These can be two separate institutions, or a single combined one in different areas. Where there are two separate institutions, it is common for the kindergarten to consist of the two upper years, and the preschool to consist of one lower year. Common names for these three years are nursery or preschool or playgroup co ban co ban 3 to 4 year old children lower kindergarten jong ban jong ban 4 to 5 year old children upper kindergarten da ban da ban 5 to 6 year old children in some places children at 5 to 6 years may in addition or instead attend reception or preparatory classes zukian ban zukian ban focusing on preparing children for formal schooling State public kindergartens only accept children older than three years, while private ones do not have such limitations. <inaudible> Denmark Kindergarten is a day care service offered to children from age 3 until the child starts attending school. Kindergarten classes grade zero are voluntary and are offered by primary schools before a child enters first grade. Two-thirds of established day care institutions in Denmark are municipal day care centers while the other third are privately owned and are run by associations of parents or businesses in agreement with local authorities. In terms of both finances and subject matter, municipal and private institutions function according to the same principles. Denmark is credited with pioneering although not inventing, forest kindergartens, in which children spend most of every day outside in a natural environment. Egypt In Egypt, children may go to kindergartens for two years KG1 and KG2 between the ages of four and six. France In France, preschool is known as école maternelle French for «nursery school», literally «maternal school». Free maternal schools are available throughout the country, welcoming children aged from 3 to 6, although in many places, children under 3 may not be granted a place. The ages are divided into Grand Section, GS, 5-year-olds, Moyen Section, MS, 4-year-olds, Petite Section, PS, 3-year-olds, and Tout Petite Section, TPS, 2-year-olds. It became compulsory in 2018 for all children aged 3. Even before the 2018 law, almost all children aged 3 to 5 attended École Maternelle. It is regulated by the Ministry of National Education. Topic: <inaudible> Germany. In Germany, a kindergarten, masculine, der Kindergarten, plural Kindergarten, is a facility for the care of preschool children who are typically at least three years old. By contrast, Kindergrip or Crip refers to a crash for the care of children before they enter kindergarten, nine weeks to about three years, Kindertagesstadt literally, children's day site, usually shortened to kita is an umbrella term for any day care facility for preschoolers. Attendance is voluntary, and usually not free of charge. Preschool children over the age of one are entitled to receive local and affordable day care. Within the federal system, kindergarten fall under the responsibility of the states, which usually delegate a large share of the responsibility to the municipalities. 
Due to the subsidiarity principle stipulated by Section 4 SGB 8, there are a multitude of operators, from municipalities, churches and welfare societies to parents' initiatives and profit-based corporations. Many kindergarten follow a certain educational approach, such as Montessori, Reggio Emilia, Berliner Buildings Program, or Waldorf. Forest kindergartens are well established. Most kindergarten are subsidized by the community councils, with the fees depending on the income of the parents. Even in smaller townships, there are often both Roman Catholic and Lutheran kindergartens available. Places in creches and kindergarten are often difficult to secure and must be reserved in advance, although the situation has improved with a new law in effect August 2013. The availability of childcare, however, varies greatly by region. It is usually better in eastern regions, and in big cities in the north, such as Berlin or Hamburg, and poorest in parts of southern Germany, all caretakers in Kita or kindergarten must have a three-year qualified education, or are under special supervision during training. Kindergarten can be open from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. or longer and may also house a creche kindergrip for children between the ages of eight weeks and three years, and possibly an afternoon hort often associated with a primary school for school-age children aged 6 to 10 who spend the time after their lessons there. Alongside nurseries, there are day care nurses working independently of any preschool institution in individual homes and looking after only three to five children, typically up to the age of three. These nurses are supported and supervised by local authorities. The term Vorschule preschool, is used both for educational efforts in kindergarten and for a mandatory class that is usually connected to a primary school. Both systems are handled differently in each German state. The Schulkindergarten is a type of Vorschule. Topic. Greece In Greece, a kindergarten is called nipiagogio. nipiagogio. The kindergarten is a form of preschool and may be referred to interchangeably as preschool. Topic. Hong Kong Pre-primary services in Hong Kong refers to provision of education and care to young children by kindergartens and child care centers. Kindergartens, registered with the Education Bureau, provide services for children from three to six years old. Child care centers, on the other hand, are registered with the Social Welfare Department and include nurseries, catering for children aged two to three, and creches, looking after infants from birth to two. At present, most of the kindergartens operate on half-day basis offering upper, lower kindergarten classes and nursery classes. Some kindergartens operate full-day kindergarten classes too. Child care centers also provide full-day and half-day services with most centers providing full-day services. The aim of pre-primary education in Hong Kong is to provide children with a relaxing and pleasurable learning environment to promote a balanced development of different aspects necessary to a child's development such as the physical, intellectual, language, social, emotional and aesthetic aspects. To help establish the culture of self-evaluation in kindergartens and to provide reference for the public in assessing the quality and standard of pre-primary education, the Education Bureau has developed performance indicators for pre-primary institutions in Hong Kong. Commencing in the 2001 school year, Quality Assurance Inspection was launched to further promote the development of quality early childhood education. Hungary. In Hungary a kindergarten is called an ovoda, place for caring. Children attend kindergarten between ages 3 minus 6 sevenths, they go to school in the year in which they have their seventh birthday. Attendance in kindergarten is compulsory from the age of three years, though exceptions are made for developmental reasons. Though kindergartens may include programs in subjects such as foreign languages and music, children spend most of their time playing. In their last year, children begin to be prepared to attend elementary school. Most kindergartens are state-funded. Kindergarten teachers are required to have a diploma. Topic: India. In India, there are only informal directives pertaining to pre-primary education for which pre-primary schools and sections need no affiliation. Directives state that children who are 3 years old on the 31st of September in the given academic year are eligible to attend nursery and kindergarten classes. Typically, children spend three to four years of their time in pre-primary school after which they are eligible to attend first standard in primary school which falls under HRD ministry norms. Primary education is now compulsory in India, and accompanied with midday meals, in most parts of the country run by the government. Pre-primary is not mandatory, however, preferred. 
All government schools and affiliated private schools allow children who are five years of age as of 31 September to enroll to Standard 1 of a primary school. Italy In Italy, preschool education refers to two different grades Nursery schools, called Asili Nido for children between 3 and 36 months Maternal schools formerly Scuola Materna and now Scuola dell'Infanzia, for children 3 to 5 years old, Italian Asili Nido were officially instituted in a 1971 state law L. 1044-1971, and may be ruled by either private or public institutions. They were originally established to allow mothers a chance to work out of their homes, and were therefore seen as a social service. Today, they mostly serve the purpose of general education and social interaction. In Italy, much effort has been spent on developing a pedagogical approach to children's care, well known as the so-called Reggio Emilia approach, named after the city of Reggio Emilia, in Emilia-Romagna. Asili Nido normally occupy small one-story buildings, surrounded by gardens, usually suitable for no more than 60 or 70 children. The heart of the Asili Nido are the classrooms, split into playroom and restroom, the playroom always has windows and doors leading to the outside playground and garden. Maternal schools Scuola Materna, were established in 1968 after state law n. 444 and are a full part of the official Italian education system, though attendance is not compulsory. Like Asili Nido, nursery schools, maternal schools may be held either by public or private institutions. Topic. Japan Early childhood education begins at home, and there are numerous books and television shows aimed at helping mothers and fathers of preschool children to educate their children and to parent more effectively. Much of the home training is devoted to teaching manners, proper social behavior, and structured play, although verbal and number skills are also popular themes. Parents are strongly committed to early education and frequently enroll their children in preschools. Kindergartens predominantly staffed by young female junior college graduates, are supervised by the Ministry of Education but are not part of the official education system. In addition to kindergartens, there exists a well-developed system of government-supervised nursery schools supervised by the Ministry of Labor. Whereas kindergartens follow educational aims, nursery schools are predominantly concerned with providing care for infants and toddlers. Together, these two kinds of institutions enroll 86% at age 3 and 99% at age 5 prior to their entrance into the formal system at first grade. The Ministry of Education's 1990 course of study for preschools, which applies to both kinds of institutions, covers such areas as human relationships, health, environment, language, and expression. Starting from March 2008 the new revision of curriculum guidelines for kindergartens as well as for preschools came into effect. South Korea In South Korea, children normally attend kindergarten Korean, Yuchiwon Yuchiwon, between the ages of 3 or 4 and 6 or 7 in the Western age system. Korean ages are calculated differently from Western ages, when they are born they are considered one-year-olds, rather than one-day-old. Additionally, every January 1, everyone's age increases by one year regardless of when their birthday is. Hence in Korea, kindergarten children are called 5, 6 and 7 year olds. The school year begins in March. It is followed by primary school. Normally the kindergartens are graded on a three-tier basis. Korean kindergartens are private schools, and monthly costs vary. Korean parents often send their children to English kindergartens to give them a head start in English. Such specialized kindergartens can be mostly taught in Korean with some English lessons, mostly taught in English with some Korean lessons, or completely taught in English. Almost all middle-class parents send their children to kindergarten. Kindergarten programs in South Korea attempt to incorporate much academic instruction alongside more playful activities. Korean kindergartners learn to read, write, often in English as well as Korean, and do simple arithmetic. Classes are conducted in a traditional classroom setting, with the children focused on the teacher and one lesson or activity at a time. The goal of the teacher is to overcome weak points in each child's knowledge or skills. Because the education system in Korea is very competitive, kindergartens are becoming more intensely academic. Children are pushed to read and write at a very young age. They also become accustomed to regular and considerable amounts of homework. These very young children may also attend other specialized afternoon schools, taking lessons in art, piano or violin, taekwondo, ballet, soccer or mathematics. North Korea. 
North Korean children attend to kindergarten from 4 to 6. Kindergartens have two sections, low class Korean Najinbun Najinban and high class Korean Nopunbun Nopian Ban. High class is compulsory. Topic: <laughs> Kosovo. In Kosovo, kindergarten is known as Serta or Kopšti i Femijev, and they serve as day care centers. There are public and private kindergartens, and they are for children under the age of three. Children between three to six years old go to Institucion Parishkolor, which are different from the day care centers, because here children start the basic learning process, and they serve as preparatory institutions for the primary school. After the age of six, children continue in primary school. However, neither the day care centers nor the preparatory institutions are mandatory. Kuwait In Kuwait, Kuwaiti children may go to free government kindergartens for two years KG1 and KG2 between the ages of four and six. Luxembourg In Luxembourg, a kindergarten is called Spilschul literally, play school, plural Spilschulen. It is a public education facility which is attended by children between the age of four or five and six when they advance to the Grundschule elementary school. Topic: <laughs> North Macedonia. The Macedonian equivalent of kindergarten is Detska Gradinka, Detska Gradinka sometimes called Zabavisht, Zabavista when the kids are younger than four years. Detska Gradinka is not part of the state's mandatory education, because the educational process in the country begins at the age of five or six, i.e. first grade. <laughs> Malaysia In Malaysia, kindergarten is known as Tataka. Most kindergartens are available to children of ages five and six, and some are available to children as young as four. For children up to the age of three or four, there are pre-school playgroups. There are no fixed rules for when a child needs to go to a kindergarten, but the majority will when the child turns five years old. The child will usually attend kindergarten for two years, before proceeding to primary school at age seven. Mexico In Mexico, kindergarten is called kinder, with the last year sometimes referred to as preprimaria primaria is the name given to grades 1 through 6, so the name literally means Prior to elementary school, the kindergarten system in Mexico was developed by Professor Rosora Zapata, who received the country's highest honor for her contribution. It consists of three years of preschool education, which are mandatory before elementary school. Previous nursery is optional and may be offered in either private schools or public schools. At private schools, kinders usually consist of three grades, and a fourth one may be added for nursery. The fourth one is called maternal. It goes before the other three years and is not obligatory. While the first grade is a playgroup, the other two are of classroom education. In 2002, the Congress of the Union approved the law of obligatory preschooling, which made preschool education for three- to six-year-olds obligatory, and placed it under the auspices of the federal and state ministries of education. <laughs> Mongolia In Mongolia, kindergarten is known as Sisileg". Or Setsaleg. As of September 2013, there are approximately 152 kindergartens registered in the country. From those 152 kindergartens, 142 are state owned. Children begin kindergarten at the age of two and finish it by five. The education system before kindergarten in Mongolia is called Azel, which accepts children between zero and two years of age. Topic: Morocco. In Morocco, preschool is known as École Maternelle, Qutub, or Arraud. State-run, free maternal schools are available throughout the kingdom, welcoming children aged from 2 to 5 although in many places, children under the 3rd of May not be granted a place. It is not compulsory, yet almost 80% of children aged 3 to 5 attend. It is regulated by the Moroccan Department of Education. Nepal. In Nepal, kindergartens are run as private institutions, with their lessons conducted in English. The kindergarten education in Nepal is most similar to that of Hong Kong and India. 
Children start attending kindergarten from the age of two until they are at least five years old. The kindergartens in Nepal have the following grades Nursery, playgroup, two to three year olds, Lower kindergarten, three to four year olds, Upper kindergarten, four to five year olds. Netherlands In the Netherlands, the equivalent term to kindergarten was kleuterschool. From the mid-19th century to the mid-20th century the term Frobelschool was also common, after Friedrich Frobel. However, this term gradually faded in use as the verb Frobelen gained a slightly derogatory meaning in everyday language. Until 1985, it used to be a separate non-compulsory form of education, for children aged 4 to 6 years, after which children aged 6 to 12 years attended the primary school After 1985, both forms were integrated into one, called Bases on the Widges Dutch for primary education. For children under 4, the country offers private, subsidized daycares which are non-compulsory but nevertheless very popular. New Zealand In New Zealand, kindergarten can refer to education in the two years preceding primary school, from age 3 to 4. Primary education starts at age 5. Norway In Norway, Barnhage Children Garden is the term equivalent to kindergarten, used for children in the ages between 10 months and 6 years. The first Barnhager were founded in Norway in the late 19th century. Although they have existed for 120 years, they are not considered part of the education system. They are both publicly and privately owned and operated. The staff, at minimum the manager, should be educated as Barnhagerlara, kindergarten teacher, previously known as Forskalilara, preschool teachers. The children spend most of the time outdoors. There is also an institution called Barnpark, Children's Park, which does not need to have certified staff. Peru In Peru, the term nido refers to the schooling children attend from three to six years of age. It is followed by primary school classes, which last for six years. Some families choose to send their children to primary school at the age of six. In 1902 the teacher Elvira Garcia and Garcia co-founder of the society cited above, organized the first kindergarten for children two to eight years old, fanning annex to the Lyceum for Ladies. Her studies and concern for children led her to spread through conferences and numerous documents, the importance of protecting children early and to respond to the formation of a personality based on justice and understanding, as well as the use of methods Froebel and from Montessori and participation of parents in this educational task. Philippines <inaudible> 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 In the Philippines, education officially starts at the elementary level and placing children into early childhood education through kindergarten is optional to parents. Early childhood education in the Philippines is classified into center-based programs, such as the Barangay Daycare Service, public and private preschools, kindergarten or school-based programs, community or church-based early childhood education programs initiated by non-government organizations or people's organizations, workplace-related child care and education programs, child-minding centers, health centers and stations, and home-based programs, such as the neighborhood-based playgroups, family day care programs, parent education and home visiting programs. Early childhood education was strengthened through the creation of the Early Childhood Care and Development Act of 2000 Republic Act No. 8980. In 2011, the Department of Education disseminated copies of the Kindergarten Education Act through Republic Act No. 10157 making it compulsory and mandatory in the entire nation. As a provision in this law, children under five years old are required to enroll in a kindergarten in any public elementary school in the country. This goes with the implementation of the K-12 system in the basic education curriculum. Romania In Romania, Gradenita, which means, little garden, is the favored form of education for preschool children usually aged three to six. The children are divided in three groups: little group, group of mica, age three to four; medium group, group of milici, age four to five; and big group, group of mare, age five to six. In the last few years, private kindergartens have become popular, supplementing the state preschool education system. Kindergarten is optional. The preparatory school year 
Class Aprigatiator is for children aged 6 to 7, and since it became compulsory in 2012, it usually takes place at school. Topic: <laughs> Russia. In the Russian Federation, Detskoye Sad Dietsky Sad, literal translation of Children's Garden, is a preschool educational institution for children, usually 3 to 6 years of age. South Africa Kindergartens commonly known as creche in South Africa provide from 0 to 6 years of age spend of preschool programs for children of all ages up to 6. The 1 to 3 year program, known as nursery, kindergarten 1 K1, and kindergarten 2 K2, prepares children for their first year in primary school education. Some kindergartens further divide nursery into N1 and N2. Spain In Spain, kindergarten is called infantil, cycler infantil or parvulario and covers ages 3 to 6, the three courses being called, respectively, P3, P4 and P5. Though non-mandatory, most children in Spain attend these courses. Before that, children aged 0 to the 3rd of May attend the guardiria and do courses P0, P1 and P2. In most parts of Spain guardirias are specialized schools completely separate from regular schools. Sudan Kindergarten in Sudan is divided into private and public kindergarten. Preschool is compulsory in Sudan. The proper kindergarten age spans from three to six years. The curriculum covers Arabic, English, religion, mathematics and more. Sweden In Sweden, kindergarten activities were established in the 19th century, and have been widely expanded since the 1970s. The first Swedish kindergarten teachers were trained by Henriette Schrader Bremen at the Pestalozzi Froebel House, which she founded in 1882. Taiwan While many public kindergartens and preschools exist in Taiwan, private kindergartens and preschools are also quite popular. Many private preschools offer accelerated courses in various subjects to compete with public preschools and capitalize on public demand for academic achievement. The curriculum at such preschools often encompasses subject material such as science, art, physical education and even mathematics classes. The majority of these schools are part of large school chains, which operate under franchise arrangements. In return for annual fees, the chain enterprises may supply advertising, curriculum, books, materials, training, and even staff for each individual school. There has been a huge growth in the number of privately owned and operated English immersion preschools in Taiwan since 1999. These English immersion preschools generally employ native English-speaking teachers to teach the whole preschool curriculum in an English-only environment. The legality of these types of schools has been called into question on many occasions, yet they continue to prosper. Some members of Taiwanese society have raised concerns as to whether local children should be placed in English immersion environments at such a young age, and have raised fears that the students' abilities in their mother language may suffer as a result. The debate continues, but at the present time, the market for English immersion preschools continues to grow. <laughs> Uganda In Uganda, kindergarten is nursery or pre-primary and usually covers ages 3 to 5, the three classes being called, respectively, baby class, middle class and top class. Pupils graduating from top class then go on to enroll in P1 the first year of primary school. Though non-mandatory, most children in Uganda today attend these classes. In most parts of Uganda, nursery schools are specialized schools completely separate from regular primary schools. Ukraine In 2010, a total of 56% of children aged 1 to 6 years old had the opportunity to attend preschool education, the Education and Science Ministry of Ukraine reported in August 2010. Many preschools and kindergartens were closed previously in light of economic and demographic considerations. United Kingdom The term kindergarten is rarely used in the UK to describe modern preschool education or the first years of compulsory primary school education. 
Preschools are usually known as creche, nursery schools, or playgroups, while the first year of compulsory schooling is known as reception in England, Dosbath Darben in Welsh, reception class, and primary one in Scotland and Northern Ireland. Nursery forms part of the foundation stage of education. In the 1980s, England and Wales officially adopted the Northern Irish system whereby children start school either in the term or year in which they will become five depending on the policy of the local education authority. In Scotland, schooling becomes compulsory between the ages of four and a half and five and a half years, depending on their birthday. School starts in August for children who were four by the end of the preceding February. However, the word kindergarten is used for more specialist organisations such as forest kindergartens and is sometimes used in the naming of private nurseries that provide full day childcare for working parents. Historically the word was used during the 19th century when activists like Adelaide Manning were introducing educators to the work of Friedrich Froebel. In the UK, parents have the option of nursery for their children at the ages of three or four years, before compulsory education begins. Before that, less structured childcare is available privately. The details vary between England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. Some nurseries are attached to state infant or primary schools, but many are provided by the private sector. The Scottish Government provides funding so that all children from the age of three until they start compulsory school can attend five sessions per week of two and a half hours each, either in state-run or private nurseries. Working parents can also receive from their employers childcare worth £55 per week free of income tax, which is typically enough to pay for one or two days per week. The Scottish Government defines its requirements for nursery schools in the Early Years Framework and the Curriculum for Excellence. Each school interprets these with more or less independence, depending on their management structure, but must satisfy the Care Commission in order to retain their license to operate. The curriculum aims to develop confident individuals, effective contributors, responsible citizens, successful learners. Topic: United States. In the U.S., kindergarten is usually part of the K-12 educational system. In most state and private schools, children begin kindergarten at age 5 and attend for one year. They do activities such as addition plus, subtraction, and playing outside on the playground. Forty-three of the fifty states require their school districts to offer a kindergarten year. In a typical U.S. kindergarten classroom, resources like toys, picture books, and crayons are available for children's use. The daily schedule varies from town to town, but there are some similarities. In the morning, the children usually do circle time. This includes saying the Pledge of Allegiance, looking at the calendar, and discussing the weather and season that day. Next, the children work on different subjects. In math, kindergartners usually do single-digit addition and subtraction, learn to count with more or less games, become acquainted with a clock, and learn skip counting to prepare them for one-digit multiplication. In language arts English, children learn sight words, cat, fun, rhyming, blends, and silent e. They then learn how to write, form sentences, and are required to write three complete sentences by the end of the year. In social studies, kindergartners learn about the months, U.S. states, the continents, and sometimes about people performing community functions e.g. doctor, barber, teacher, and places e.g. you go to a hospital when you're sick or to have surgery. You go to a park to play. After a few lessons, there is a break for lunch. Children either fetch their own lunchboxes brought from home or get a lunch from the cafeteria and eat it, or take their or in the classroom. Sometimes after lunch the children have recess, some students' favorite part of the day, when they can go outside to play on swings, slides, play basketball, or socialize. After recess kindergartners go back inside to do more learning. Some schools let children take a nap or do free choice blocks, tic-tac-toe, play dough, etc. When kindergarten is over for the day, parents or guardians come to pick up their child or the children ride a school bus home. See also Forest kindergarten Head Start program Montessori education Pre-math skills Reggio Emilia approach Universal preschool Waldorf education <laughs>